Well, this was massive. The sheriff says the drug trafficking organization had been doing this for about six years here in Central Florida, and today was the culmination of a law enforcement's two-year investigation that brought down this big operation. So we're talking about 339 kilos of cocaine. All right, to make it easier to understand, that's about 750 pounds of the white powder being transferred through Central Florida. Federal officers at the press conference today say the people work for an operation that was smuggling the drugs by the post office and other private shipping companies into the U.S. Carlos Velez, one of our defendants, was lives in Orlando, is based out of Orlando, and he was directing this shipment of cocaine from the Dominican Republic through Puerto Rico, we believe bound for Central Florida. There is no doubt in our minds that the arrests of these individuals and the seizure of the significant seizure of this drug has saved lives already in our community and will continue to save lives. Also, during the investigation, authorities seized some fentanyl along with 35 guns, two of which were stolen. Now, here's just another reminder of how dangerous these drugs are that are flowing into our country. One trafficker reportedly mixed in horse tranquilizer with the other drugs to increase the volume of those drugs. I'm John Brown, Fox 35 News. Ray, over to you. John.